Good morning, everybody. Uh, so uh, today um, <clears throat> I am joined by the lovely Brogan, you can see here. So Brogan is my lovely colleague who is going to be commenting uh, today on our focus. So I'm sure Brogan will say hello, but <laughs> as like a hello with my terrible, terrible South African accent. And um, today, guys, um, please feel free to participate and talk a lot because today I am alone, but Brogan will be helping with some comments. So uh, just <clears throat> a quick introduction. My name, my name, is Paul, okay, and I am from Ireland, okay, so Ireland is uh, in Europe next to England, and I come from a city called Cork, Cork um, that is in the south, similar to Sicily, okay? So, feel free to comment and participate. Right, Brogan? Um, so, guys, <clears throat> today, we are speaking about likes and dislikes. So, likes and dislikes, hmm. So in this focus activity, different levels of like and I don't like. Third person and asking questions, hmm. So, in English, we have different ways of saying I like. Now, like is always followed by a noun or a verb plus ing, okay? So, Brogan, if you can, maybe tell us Oh, my typing is terrible. So, Brogan, if you could maybe type an example of like. Example, I like, mm, a noun, and I like, plus a verb in ing. That would be great. So, hmm, different ways of saying I like. Hmm. So, for example, I like, and the negative of I like is I don't like. I don't like. Okay. Ah, so Brogan has given us an example. So thank you very much, Brogan. Ah, so I like ice cream. Hmm, ice cream. So, Brogan, is ice cream a noun or um, a verb? Can you please tell me? Hmm. Ah, okay, we have another example here. I like watching Maya's webinars. Thank you very much. Me too. I like doing them. It's something to do every day. Ah, interesting. Just seeing another example here by Brogan. I like singing. Hmm. So, guys, ah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Brogan. So, ice cream, guys, is a noun. And of course, singing, la la la, is basically a verb. So that is the structure for today's lesson. Now, the construction of like, for example, I like, I like, uh, is one example, you like, hmm. But the third person, he, she, it, like, 
The answer here, guys. He, she, it. He, she, it, what? Hmm. That's a difficult one. The third person. I like, you like, he, she, it. Can you guys help me, Brogan? Any idea of the verb? We're missing one letter here. Um, I think it's the third person. Hmm. Allura. Concentration. If you guys have any idea, let me know. So maybe Brogan or someone who is my S45, it's a mystery. Who is that person? Uh, if you guys can comment as well. Oh, okay, thank you so much, Brogan. Okay, so third person, he likes watching my S webinars. Thank you so much. So as you can see, guys, we have the subject, likes watching my S, web um, my S webinars. Good afternoon, Rafael de Pesquale. Good afternoon. I think maybe good afternoon, no, good morning. Okay, because in English we have good morning. Good morning. Then we have good afternoon, generally speaking. The time. Oh, wait, maybe it is good morning. Okay, maybe you're right. We have. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ah, thank you very much, Oscar, for your wonderful comment. I like watching girls at the beach. Hmm, interesting. With sun, with probably sunglasses, right? Hmm, yeah. So, uh, Raphael, can you tell me where are you from? Raphael, where are you from? Raphael. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. Well, Oscar, if you're watching and if you have a webcam, you're more than welcome to join the lesson. I would love another teaching assistant if you can. Um, but as I said, maybe I'm doing the lesson by myself. But I love the support today. Nine viewers. Ah, okay, Raffaele, you're from Vietri Sumare. Oh, interesting. Is my pronunciation okay? So, Raffaele de Pasquale. Raffaele de Pasquale. Tell me, good. Do you like my pronunciation, Raffaele? Salerno. Okay, Salerno. Okay, so, Raffaele, do you like my pronunciation? Is it good or bad? I like, I don't like. Hmm. Ah, thank you very much. It's okay. I need to improve it, but I'm, I'm getting better at it. Oh, wow, guys, we have 10 viewers. Exciting, exciting. So do you like my pronunciation? That is basically an example of asking a question, OK? Thank you, Raphael. Yeah, it's grand. It's a grand pronunciation. Thank you so much. OK, so guys, we are talking about likes and dislikes. <clears throat> OK, so uh, here. We have an order. So put the phrases in order. I will read. Example, I like, I love, I hate, I don't mind, I like, I really like. Hmm. So what is the meaning of I love? Love is the extreme of like. Love is similar to extreme of like okay so maybe uh brogan if you can give an example with love that would be fantastic okay or oscar if you feel if you're commenting or anybody give me examples i'm happy to hear that boy doesn't like that word interesting thank you so much Ah, we have a contribution from Valencia. Hello, guys. Um, interesting. I think the name of the DOS is Dave, actually. So he was the Dave. He was the DOS before Lisa. Okay. I love dogs. Thanks, Seamus. Me too. I love dogs as well. Wow. I'm loving. I'm loving. I'm loving this participation today. I'm so popular. He looks very sad. Indeed, he does. He does, of course. Okay, um, so guys, put the phrases in the correct order. So example, 
Starting with love. Okay, excellent. Brogan, I love wine. Me too. I love Chianti wine, specifically. Okay, so we have a comment here from Maya Valencia. I love dogs too. Excellent. Ha ha ha, Brogan. Yes, yes. Excellent, Raphael. Fantastic. I love eating fruit. Me too. What's your favorite fruit? Do you like apples, bananas? <laughs> Brogan, I love drinking wine. Okay, so guys, as you can see, put the phrases please in order. So number two is I love. So I love. Hmm. After I love, what's after I love? Hmm. Any idea? So the maximum of love and then mm, 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 mm. okay, like in a step formation. Love. What's after love, guys? Any idea, Raphael? Do you guys in Valencia have any idea? Brogan? Any idea? Help me. Hmm. 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 I wonder what is the answer. Wow, guys, great participation today. Any idea, Raphael? If you can tell me what is after love. Ah, I really like. Okay, one point. So we'll do a points game. Okay, so one point to Valencia. Okay, good job. Excellent. I really like. Okay. Massimo, I love the sea. Oh, welcome to the lesson, Massimo. Me too. I love the sea. Uh, I love... I love the blue sky outside, although we can't really go out much. Okay, excellent. So I love the sea. Excellent. Welcome. Very good. So one point to Valencia. My favorite fruit. My favorite fruit are apple. Hmm. Raphael, have a look at your example again. Because remember, apple is countable. One apple, two apple. What's the answer? Two. Apple, A P P L E underscore. Come on, Paul, you can do it. Yeah. What's the answer here, Raphael? To my so my favorite fruit are uh, my favorite fruit are apple. Apples. Very good. Excellent. Raphael, I'm giving you a point for your correction. Very good. So, Raphael, so one point to Valencia and one point to Salerno. And I'll give one point to Brogan for participation as well um, for uh, South Africa. So it's a great competition today. My favorite fruit. Oh, Massimo, my favorite fruit. Okay, fruit, generally speaking, is uncountable. So the answer is my favorite fruit. What's the correct answer, Ma um, Massimo? Because the subject is fruit, it's uncountable, okay? So my favorite fruit, mm, mango. My favorite fruit, any idea? I'll give you a point for your correction, if you can do it. So guys, also, um, as Valencia have said, I really like is the next answer, okay? I, oh, I really like, okay? Excellent, excellent, okay. Um, my favorite fruit, any idea? Massimo, my favorite fruit, mm, mango. Mango can be singular. Ah, three, I like. Correct, Brogan. Very good, Massimo. Excellent. Okay, so my favorite fruit is mango. Well done. Okay, so you get one point, Massimo. Can you tell me the name of your city, please? Okay, Seamus wants a point. Three, I like. You see, Seamus, unfortunately, Brogan was before you, okay? So uh, the point will go to Rogan, I like, okay? Excellent, so two points to South Africa, okay? 
Um, Seamus, thank you for your example. Okay, so Massimo, one point to Bologna. Remember the competition. Okay, so yeah, Massimo um, is, is oh, I'm getting confused here. Okay, so you're from Bologna. Okay, Seamus wants a point. I really like snow. Excellent. <clears throat> Great example. So again, I like snow. Snow is what we call a noun. Okay. Um, okay, guys, after I like, any idea? Hmm. So I love, I really like, I like, hmm. After I like, any idea? <sighs> Just sitting here patiently. Ah, Seamus, yay, I'll give you one point for Donegal, okay? So Donegal gets one point, I don't mind. Fantastic, Seamus, excellent, okay? So after, I like, I don't mind. Okay, that's number four. Um, Massimo, uh, Valencia, Brogan, surely Valencia has a name, tell me your name at least. Uh, Raphael, what is after, I don't mind? Any idea? I don't mind Seamus. <laughs> yeah, me too. He's nothing special, but he's he's in the middle. I don't mind talking to Seamus. Okay, Luca, welcome to the lesson. Fantastic. Luca, where are you from? And I'll give you one point as well. So I don't like is after. Okay, fantastic, Luca. Okay, I don't like. Okay, and finally, I hate. Okay. Excellent. So guys, just to recap on the pronunciation, I love, I really like, I like, I don't mind, I don't like, and I hate. Okay, don't forget the pronunciation Italians of your H. Example, I hate. Okay, Raphael, very good. I'll give you a point. Uh, now we have, we have two examples of uh, oh, with two people from um, Bologna, so extra points for you guys. So we have here an example of I don't like drinking wine, but Brogan loves drinking wine. Absolutely. I think that's correct. I think that's correct. David, I guess your name is. Thanks, Seamus, for that contribution. So guys, um, can you tell me um, the meaning or can you give me examples of like, love, I really like, I don't mind, I hate. Ah, the DOS in Milan, welcome to the lesson. We don't like sangria. No, we don't. Of course, we love tequila. Yes, you told us that before. We don't like, you told us that. Yes, thank you, Brogan. So what do you hate, Rafael and Luca? Tell us, guys. Don't forget your pronunciation of your H. I hate, okay? I hate. Uh, so let's see. I hate, hmm, who do I hate? Well, I'll be honest. I hate uh, Boris Johnson. I hate him. Very good, excellent. Very good, Raphael, fantastic. One point to you. I hate orange juice. Remember your pronunciation, not juice, it's Juice, okay, excellent. And for anybody uh, that needs pronunciation on hate, okay, don't forget, not I ate, I hate, okay. And for any Spanish speakers, remember it is ha, ha, not ha, ha, okay. So be careful there. Uh, we have a bit of Spanish and Italian interaction today. It's ha, ha, not ha, ha. Okay, pronunciation, guys, is super important. Okay, uh, so uh, I hate olives. Thank you very much. Luca, I hate bojo. What's that? I hate bojo. What's this? Try again. Okay, and we have Brogan, and he hates orange juice. Very good. So, Brogan, I'm giving you another point because we have the third person. Remember, guys, third person. I like, you like, he, she, it, likes, followed by a noun or what we call a verb, okay? Wow, guys, so, so much participation today. Excellent. So, moving on. Next, we have here 
some diff different questions. So it reads, do you like? Yes, I like. No, I don't like. It's OK. And I like in my free time. I don't like. I love. So guys, um, tell me. You can ask me questions. Do you like? And I will answer yes or no. And I will give my 100% answers. Um, so ask me questions or give examples. So example. Do you like, okay, and remember, like is a verb that is followed by a noun or a, or a verb plus ing, okay? So guys, ask me, Paul, do you like, and I will answer any questions you have, but please, ah, very good, excellent, Luca, one point, okay, very good. So, Luca, do you like, now, basketball, hmm, is it, is the word together or is it separate, okay? Uh, so, example, do you like basket, basketball, okay? Do you like basketball, okay? That is the correct answer. Not basketball is spelled with one. Okay, do I like basketball? Um, no, I don't. I think basketball is very boring. So that is my answer to the question. Do you like basketball, Luca? Tell me, okay? So answer yes, I, mm, or no, I don't. So remember, when it's short answer, we say yes, I do. And no, I don't. Okay, so I'm asking you. So no, I don't. Okay, this reminds me of the movie Good Morning Vietnam. I feel so popular today, guys. Uh, okay, so next question is from Valencia. Do you like teaching? Yes, I love teaching. I absolutely love teaching. It is my passion. I love teaching everybody. Um, I taught before in Granada, in Seville, where else? I taught English in Palermo, in Sicily. I taught English in Brazil. I taught English in Malta. I taught English in Valencia, where else before? Well, in Valencia, Castellan. Yes, many countries. So I love teaching. And also I taught English in Ireland, in Cork. So teach, the past simple of teach is taught, okay? Taught is the past simple of teach. Okay, Luca, thank you very much for responding. So you love basketball. Remember, capital I, I love basketball. Well done. One point to Bologna, one point to Valencia for your question. <clears throat> okay, wow, guys, you have so many different questions here. Interesting. So, Brogan, your next question, one point to South Africa. Do you like singing in the shower? Yes, I do. I love singing in the shower. I try and sing every day. Um, but sometimes I need to be careful because people sleep, okay? But yes, Brogan, I do like singing in the shower. My favorite song is, the, is Zombie by the Cranberries. Every day I shower in your head. In your head, zombie. And people are like, Paul, oh, please be quiet. Okay, so yes, Brogan, I do like singing in the show in the shower pronunciation. Okay, excellent. Oh, very good. Rafael, one point again to Saturno. Uh, so if you like playing football, remember with a question mark. Um, do I like playing football? Yes, I do. I'm not very good. Okay. I like playing FIFA and I am number one, okay? Um, my favorite football team in Italy is Palermo. They are the number one team. And my favorite team in Spain is Malaga. But unfortunately, Palermo and Malaga are in the second division, okay? So let's see. Wow, Massimo, I love this question. Scuba diving. Massimo, one point to you. Do I like scuba diving? Um, no, I don't because I am afraid. OK, 
Okay, sorry. Do you like scuba diving? And also my question to you, Raphael, do you like playing football? Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, next question, Seamus. Paul, do you like speaking different languages? Yes, I do. I love speaking different languages. Um, I am fluent in Spanish. I have the official B2. Uh, I studied Spanish last year because I worked in Seville. Um, now I need to improve my Italian. It's very, very bad. I need to improve it. Um, so yes, yeah, Seamus, I like speaking different languages. Thank you for asking me that question. Seamus, do you like speaking Irish? That's my question to you. A point for Donegal, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, so no, I don't. Thank you for responding. Rogan, do you like? Oh, we have another question here by Raphael. Um, so, yes, just a third person, just remember. Thank you very much, Rogan. He likes singing in the shower, okay? Rogan, another point to you, okay? Excellent. So, uh, Raphael, do you like swimming? <clears throat> yes, I do. I love swimming. Um, I always go swimming when it's sunny. So, Raphael, that is my answer to your question, okay? And Valencia have responded. Uh, let's see. My ass. Okay, I like swimming as well. Thank you very much for letting us know, guys. Uh, meet, yes. So, as well. As well. Very good. Luca, do you like sunbathing? Very good question. Very good question, Brogan. Sunbathing. Hmm. Sunbathing. Sunbathing is, remember, relaxing in the sun. Well, we can't do it at the moment, but, you know, imagine when all of this is finished, we can go to the beach and we can enjoy the sun. Okay? Remember, uh, don't confuse um, this verb, okay? Sunbathing, you catch the sun, but you don't take the sun. Take the sun is a translation from Italian and also from Spanish, okay? So thank you very much for that question. Okay, very good, Luca. No, it's, okay, boring is correct, but your spelling, hmm. It is, or, how can I spell it, Luca? Can you correct yourself? Work on your spelling in the meantime. Okay, boring, very good. Okay, so Luca, I'll give you a point as well. Okay, boring, very good, excellent. Okay, pronunciation, everybody repeat, boring. I'm sure you all said it. Okay, very good. Okay. Massimo, I like singing in the shower, but my neighbors yell at me to stop. Very good, very good. And I like your verb yell. Okay, very good, Raphael. Excellent. One point to you, Raphael. Okay, you deserve another point. Yeah. So I like singing in the shower, but my neighbors yell at me. Yell is yell. Okay, shout, shout. Okay, very good, Raphael. Excellent. Guys, I am loving the participation today. Time is going quick. Okay. Um, so, guys, in your free time, so in my free time, I go to, where do I go? I go to the gym. Okay. That's what I do in my free time. Okay, can you guys tell me an example of what you do in your free time? Or if you talk about third person. So, Brogan, maybe talk about uh, Luca in his free time, okay? Or maybe Dave in Valencia talk about um, Seamus, okay? Seamus, you can talk about me, Raphael. You can talk about you or maybe your friend. Okay, let's try and keep it first person and third person examples. Okay, wow, oh, Seamus, excellent example. So in your free time, you go to Ikea. Excellent. Thank you very much, Seamus, for sharing that example. Another point, Donegal. Okay. Ah, with a smiley face as well. 
Yes, yes, yes. Excellent, Seamus. Brilliant. Okay. So Seamus goes to IKEA. Raphael, another point to you. Very good. And you're practicing your writing as well. So in my free time, I go to playing football. Okay. Um, almost in my free time is correct and the subject is correct. But in Italian, I think you say, Io vado a giocare. Io vado a giocare. Okay. But in English, um, we don't use with play, we don't use it with the verb go. So in my free time, I oh, can you tell me the correct answer? Okay, can you tell me the correct answer? I play or I playing, okay? I play or I playing football. What is the correct answer, Raphael? Okay, in my free time, I play or I playing football? Because remember, when it's present simple, we talk about routine, okay? So that is the question for you, okay? So Raphael, have a think, okay? Let's see. We have another example here from Brogan. In my free time, I read books. Ah, very good. And Brogan has also asked a question. What do you do in your free time, Luca? Excellent. Okay, thank you so much, Brogan, for your question. Another point. Okay. So, yes, Raphael, you said, okay, okay. But tell me, what is the correct answer? Is in my free time, I play or I play football? That is my question. Okay. Okay, Luca has an example in my free time. Sometimes I go to the gym. Okay, so Luca, thank you very much for your participation. I'll give you a point for your answer. However, please be careful with your word order because sometimes in my free time. So it's getting better with my comments. So uh, da, 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 da. Concentrate again, Paul. Okay, so in I go to the gym. Just be careful with your word order, okay? Look at so. Uh, let's see. What do you think is the correct answer? With sometimes, where does it go? Does it go at the beginning, at the end? Okay, so can you focus again on your example, Luca? Excellent, Brogan. He goes to the gym in his free time. So that's the third person of the verb go. I go, you go, he, she, it goes. Okay, brilliant, Brogan. Thank you so much. I'll give you another point. Raphael, any idea about the answer to this question? In my free time, or can anybody help and tell me the reason why? In my free time, I play or I playing football? Hmm, what is the answer? What is the answer? In my free time, I go to underwater. Hmm. Massimo, I think we need to fix this example. In my free time, maybe the verb. You guys love using this verb go, okay. In my free time, I, what's the verb? Okay, so Massimo, can you tell me the answer? Okay, so in my free time, yeah, thank you, Brogan. Okay, very good, Seamus, thank you for responding to the question. I play football because it is present simple. Brilliant, okay, so that is the answer there. Excellent, very good. Uh, I play football because it is present simple. Brilliant, Seamus, excellent. So, in my free time, I love to organize. Ah, this word holiday is coming up a lot in these lessons. Okay, Raphael, in my free time, I love to organize, it's perfect. Now, pronunciation, which is something that I absolutely love. Now, here, holiday, we pronounce the H, okay? So, 
in my free time, I love to organize my holiday. Okay, I would say the answer is my holiday. Okay, in this, you have to say my holiday, not a holiday. Okay, because you cannot use an because we pronounce the H. Okay, remember, we use the articles and, for example, an apple. Okay, an apple or an orange. Okay, an orange. Okay, that's when we use an article. Okay, very good. Ah, Seamus, thank you for another example of the present continuous. Okay, excellent, guys. So these are examples an apple, an orange. Okay, we use it with articles. Okay, if you guys have any questions, please ask me. Okay, moving on. Wow, time is going so quick, guys. Appreciate all of your participation. Okay, so here we have uh, films, books, and music. Do you like? I really like mm, because. My favorite is because. I don't like it is. Okay. Ah, we have another response to a question. Brogan, it means diving. Ah, diving, diving. Okay, so Massimo, you can say, I like diving. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Very good, In my, I love to organize my holiday. Okay, very good, Raphael, one point. Okay, and the third person, he loves to organize his holiday. Thank you so much, guys, loving your participation. Okay, remember, his is a possessive adjective for men, and for women, we say her. Okay, her holiday, his holiday, pronounce your H, okay? Brilliant work, guys. So, um, we have films, books, and music, guys. So, I can tell you, I really hate reggaeton, okay? I don't think it's good music. Uh, in Spain, when I lived there before, all they do is listen to reggaeton. And it is the worst music in the world. <laughs> It's just the same music all the time, and it is terrible. Okay, so I really hate reggaeton because because um, it is stupid. Okay, I don't like it. I find it boring. I hate reggaeton because it is stupid. That is my example. Okay, I'm talking about music. My uh, favorite. Music is, hmm, what is my favorite music? My favorite music is jazz. Okay, Oscar just commented as well and said, <laughs> Daddy Yankee. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, my favorite music is jazz. Boom, boom, boom. My favorite film is Kill Them because it's a crazy film. Thanks very much, Luca, and you're improving your writing as well. Good job. I'll give you a point. Okay. I think Luca, if I'm correct, you can maybe he is my boss in in where, where is he from? Calabria. So Calabria, I'll give you maybe three points because you have participated a lot. But just be careful with your spelling. Okay. And here's Seamus in the background as well. I can just see him. Okay. So we have here, um, I like dancing to reggaeton, but I really don't like listening to it. Okay, brilliant, okay. Uh, so Valencia, I'll give you another <laughs> point. Um, you like dancing to it, but you don't like listening to it. That makes no sense to me, but anyway, you either like it or you don't like it. Thank you, Raphael, for asking me a question. I love pop music. Um, oh, you love pop music, great, okay. Pop music, yeah, uh, I think the king of pop is Michael Jackson, so he is my favorite uh, singer, okay. Thank you so much um, for your question. But maybe, Raphael, give me a complete question. Do you like, okay, do you like, okay, complete question. So ask me, do you like, okay, if you want to give me correct 
form. And U is also perfect, but it's kind of lazy, okay? So uh, Massimo tells us that his favorite music is rock. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Massimo, for sharing that. Okay, um, who is your favorite singer? Is my question. Okay, what about books, guys? Any good books to read at the moment, especially because we have to stay inside? Oh, excellent, Raphael. You're asking a question. Another point to you, Brogan. Do you like house music? Great question, Raffaele. Okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, lots of interaction. I'm giving you all points. Seamus, I'll give you another point as well for your example above. I don't even know, I can't even remember what city has a point, but I'll decide the answer in the end. Brilliant, okay, so Brogan, I love dancing to house music. Raphael, can you make this a third person? Okay, so she. Okay. So can you make that a third person question? Just on the charge, my laptop again, because. Oh, oh. Battery is nearly gone. Just give me a second, guys. So um, can you please uh, give an example of she love? Okay, can you make it a third person? Just give me two seconds, guys. Just going to charge my laptop, but I'm not even. It'll be two seconds. One, two, count, count, count. So just Was I two seconds? Excuse me, just charging my laptop. Okay, battery was almost gone. Very good, excellent. So, Raphael, she loves dance. Okay, now be careful here. Okay, she, she loves, okay, she loves now. The noun is dance. She loves dance music. Okay. She loves dance music. Love is correct. Very good. Okay. She loves dance music. Ah, Brogan. Thank you so much. Okay. She loves dancing too. Okay. Dancing plus her preposition to. She loves dancing to pronunciation house music. Okay. Thank you, Brogan. And I love your punctuation as well. I'm giving you an extra two points because your writing is absolutely beautiful and you have amazing punctuation, okay? So Brogan, you have two points, okay? Um, so she loves dance music as the noun and as the verb, dancing too, okay? So good job, Raphael, we appreciate your comments. Okay, guys, uh, let's see, moving on. Next, ah, of course, food. So, food, ah, mm. food, 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 food. Okay, so guys, here we have amazing food. Okay, remove your comments, getting better, my technology, okay. Luca has another example here. She likes music, but, but, but. Be careful on your spelling, Luca. But she hates singing, but or but. Hmm, that's my question. So, guys, as you can see in the lesson, we have other ways to say love and hate, okay? So, I love is similar to I adore, okay? Um, and it's the same structure. It's followed by a noun or verb plus ing. Example, I adore, I adore um, pasta. Okay. I adore pasta, full stop, okay? Which is similar to I love, okay? Um, I adore, what is the verb, okay? I Adore. Can anyone tell me? I adore. What is the verb with pasta? Working my typing. So I adore. 
Hi, Edgar. Any idea? I adore. Excellent. Okay, Raphael, thank you. Can you use an example with, okay, I love, but can you use an example with adore? Giampiero, welcome to the lesson. And you said smell. Okay, I adore some pasta. That's also correct. But I'm looking for a verb. I adore. What's the verb? Famous adore Irish food. Yes. Thanks, Brogan, for your third person contribution. And a point to you, Luca. I'll give you a point for your spelling. Valencia, you have another point for your third person question. Okay, excellent. Waiting. Okay, Massimo, I adore to eat. Mm, no, remember, like, love, followed by a verb, ing. For example, I like eating. I love eating. I adore, I'll tell you the answer because we're losing time. I adore eating, okay? I adore eating pasta, okay? Because remember, it's followed. Ah, Raphael, you got there, brilliant, okay? I adore eating pasta. Well done. I'll give you two points, okay? And Brogan, I'll give you one. Okay, excellent. Very good, okay? So, guys, that is love. What about hate, okay? Similar to hate is I can't stand, okay? Example, I can't, I can't stand, um, what can I stand? I can't stand fish because it is horrible. Okay, that's just my example. Sorry to you many Italian speakers. I know you love fish, and I think in Spain as well, but I don't. I hate it, okay? I can't stand fish because it's horrible, okay? So if you guys can tell me an example of I hate, and then we are using all of the examples of love, hate, like, don't like, okay? You guys are doing fantastic, okay? So Seamus has one, wait, trying to find the comment. <laughs> Seamus, I adore eating honeycomb ice cream, but I can't stand eating olives, okay? Brilliant, Seamus, thank you for your example. So guys, remember, Hate, love, like, really like is followed by a verb plus ing or a noun. Okay, so Seamus says, I adore eating honeycomb ice cream, but I can't stand eating. Okay, brilliant, Raphael. So you corrected yourself. I hate eating soup with vegetables. Brilliant. Can you give an example very quickly of I can't stand? Okay. Why do you hate eating veg? Pronunciation, Paul, focus. Raphael, why do you hate eating soup with vegetables? Okay, so that is your question. Uh, so you guys can respond just to give you a quick revision of the lesson and then we are free to go. Okay, so guys, remember in the lesson, okay, the structure is love, I really like. I like, I don't mind, I don't like, I hate, okay? Um, so these are your verbs that you can use, and remember, it is followed by a noun. We will have I love or I adore, okay? So number two can also be I adore, okay? So remember, it's followed by a noun, so the noun in this context is pasta, okay? Uh, Raphael, your other example is I love noodles and seafood. Okay, so these are the examples of nouns. Okay, third person, she likes. Okay, but okay, yeah, so there's a correction. Brilliant. Okay, um, and also just a little review on our prepositions. Raphael loves dancing to house music. Okay, so guys, remember. Um, ah, okay, so you answered your question because I don't like to eat or eating. Remember, I don't like eating, okay? I don't like eating, Raphael, okay? 
So guys, um, that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for your participation. I'm going to choose the winner today. Rafael, congratulations for your participation. And your town is called Sederno, I think. You are today's winner, okay? And in second place, we have South Africa. Brogan, in third place, we have Valencia. In fourth place, we have Donegal. And unfortunately, today, Calabria, you have lost. Okay, Bologna? Yes, I'll give you two points, okay. So, congratulations, guys. Thank you so much for your participation. It was a wonderful, wonderful lesson. Um, and stay tuned for more. So, guys, thank you so much, okay? And thank you very much, Brogan, for your help, your awesome work, okay? So, guys, have a great day. Ci vediamo pronto, okay? Uh, tutto irá bene. Todo va a salir la luz, okay? Ci vediamo.